wake it up. It's, uh, it's 6.30 a.m. Boya Lake, Provincial Park. Boya Lake is a gem. Um, it's not as blue as it normally is this morning, but we're gonna make a coffee and hang out. Wait till the sun gets up so we can see how blue it is. It's like a super well-known uh, lake out here, and it's, uh, it's unbelievably blue, so I can't wait to see it. It's super windy, so the water's not all that calm. Um, but we might go for a paddle this morning. We haven't quite decided. It's kind of chilly. Uh, we'll make some coffee. We'll hang on the dock here and then uh, go from there. We drove six hours yesterday from Whitehorse to Boya. And we ran into this truck driver who told us a story about all these murders. Um, and he had witnessed, not witnessed the murders, but he had like seen um, one of the cars burning. Some, some crazy story. And then he ended up, he's from Salt Lake City, shout out to him, he ended up giving us these delicious pretzels. So that kept us going last night, kept us driving that bit further. So we started the morning with a little uh, coffee and a walk down the Boya Lake in uh, Interpretive Trail. Um, Boya Lake is so beautiful, there's all these like, little islands. The water's super, super clear and super blue. Um, it's hard to tell right now because the sun hasn't quite hit it yet. Um, we're going to uh, maybe walk back to the campsite and hop on a canoe and go for a paddle because you can rent one for like 20 bucks so that'll be pretty nice all right we're out we're paddling on boya lake boya lake's an absolute beauty it's so blue and it's so clear because of the white sand and all the shells that were crushed up over time so it's just white sand making the water so clear uh fortunately parks canada lets you rent canoes for 20 bucks we thought we'd change it up uh, 20 bucks for two hours so 10 bucks an hour but you got to do two hours or something so it's pretty chill. So we're out here. We're doing a quick morning paddle before we get back on the road. And it's just gorgeous. We're the only people on the water at the moment. And uh, it's not wildly calm, but it's also not like, it's not, you know, too rough. So got the fishing rod with me. I'm going to do a couple casts for sure. Um, we'll see if we can tug something out of here, like a, a trout or a burbot or something. Burbot, I've never caught one of those. So I wouldn't even know what it looks like. They got some funnier fish out up here. It's a, it's a funny lake because it looks like on the pictures when you see it that there's all these, all these islands that you can paddle around but the land's kind of all interconnected. Oh, there's a channel there. I, don't, I have no idea where that would go. There's tons of little channels and it looks like they're islands but they're all actually connected to the land and they kind of come out and go back in, come out and go back in. It looks like we've got a really shallow spot in the middle here. We'll go check that out. But definitely a great, uh, a great lake for kind of paddling around and, uh, and exploring. Look at that blue. Yeah, it's a gorgeous lake. Don't see any fish down here, but I'm gonna have to do a little cast the second I see one. There's a random little island in the middle of the lake, so. A rock island. A rock island. That would be, would be the greatest if you're a boater. It's pretty easy to see. I guess that's why they put the stick there. So if you're on a motorboat or something, you're not gonna come nail it and go flying. I love seeing the, the color change of the water. Crystal clear to that light blue to that darker blue as it gets deeper. So gorgeous. So you know I can't help myself when I'm on a, a body of water and I'm gonna have to fish. I tied on a size one little blue fox, pink and, uh, pink and blue here. And uh, I'll chuck it in, chuck it around while we're paddling, see if I can get, uh, get something to nibble. Uh, if not, whatever. Just may as well have a line in the water if I'm on the water. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. The water is like crystal clear, and we haven't seen a single fish. So <laughs> Your odds are looking pretty good. The odds are looking, yeah. The odds are looking good. Um, try a couple more. Oh. What? Feel a little tug? Uh, no, it might have just been the bottom. It gets really shallow. My personal chauffeur. Yeah, as always. Card of, card of canoe. Oh, it's nice being in the canoe. Um, Cause it's so high up, we can see right in the water. Oh, it's really shallow here too. It's like four feet. The sand is so white. This is gorgeous, but the wind's really pushing us now. Look at this sand. Oh man. So lovely. Sand, the mountains. 
The wind's getting much stronger, so we gotta start making our way on the shore back to camp here. <laughs> it's gonna be a grind. Like the good old days and the blow up. So along this side of the lake, these are the campsites. So there's a bunch of lake lakeside uh, campsites on this side here. Super nice spot if you want to stay for a night or two. Boy Lake was a lot of fun paddling. The wind picked up pretty good, but uh, ran into the parks lady. She only charged us 10 bucks. That was nice of her. So now we're back on the road. It was just a quick detour for us. Head towards Terrace should be about nine hours of driving. We're probably gonna break it up or we'll shoot the whole way. We've got no idea. We'll see what, uh, what happens.